Hey, what's up, studs? Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and welcome to my review of a San Diego Comic Con exclusive set, the Nebulon B Frigate for 2020. Now, of course, in 2020, there was no San Diego Comic Con, and so LEGO went ahead and released this separately, and as far as I'm aware, it will at least be available through Amazon.com for a price of $40, releasing mid-November 2020. The box art says special limited edition, so don't expect any reruns of this set. It's probably going to have a limited number of five to 10,000 ever made. It is a 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back, so if you do want to complete that collection, you're going to have to pick this up. Its set number is 77904, which is not quite in line with the other LEGO Star Wars sets for the year. It has 459 pieces, and like I said, uh, retails for 40 bucks, so good price for piece, I guess. The art on the set is actually really stunning. Like, it's really gorgeous and beautiful. Like, it really just pops. However, it is, like, hand-drawn, so it's given that kind of comic look, which makes sense if it's a comic con set, of course, so very different than most LEGO Star Wars box art in that way. It has what is perhaps the smallest money Falcon ever in a Lego Star Wars set there. You can see all the box art here because this is a Comic-Con exclusive. I do want to give you all the angles. Pretty cool to see all the markings and whatnot. And then even on the bottom, there's uh, the art continuing on down, which actually looks really nice. Looking into the Starry Night, you can see another Nebulon frigate there in the backdrop. And then the back of the box is going to show the set on a stand, which doesn't look the nicest. It's kind of a blocky design compared to the rest of this thing, which has a lot of uh, angles and contours. So seeing the stand be so boxy just doesn't look great to me. It doesn't really mix very well. That's just the way that I look at that. The unboxing experience for this set should be pretty straightforward with a couple pieces of tape holding it shut there at the bottom. Pop that open. Oh, we have a little quote on the inside flap. Let's see. That says they're heading for the medical Frigate by Wedge Antilles there. So that's a nice little quote on the inside. Didn't really expect to see that. So getting everything out of the way, this is what the inside of the box looks like. So you can see this flap and the flap on the left kind of bring some printing to the inside of the box, but that's all you're gonna find in the box there. Not that exciting really on the inside. You're gonna get bag one and two here. So a couple of bags with all your parts and then the manual with your 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back sticker. The manual, probably not gonna have anything special. It's just a standard Lego manual. Doesn't even bother to show off any other sets from the year. So just a just pretty standard manual. And for people that don't know, this set does not contain any exclusive pieces. The only thing exclusive, I guess, is this sticker. Although you could get it in the Best Man dual set. Um, but you can brick link this set together, or part it together from your own collection without having to have had this set because this set doesn't have a piece that you could only get in it. So that's at least good on that front for those of you who are unable to attain this or don't want to pay the higher inflated eBay price since this is probably going to be a pretty hard to come by set. The set is completed and the build process is quite simple as you'd expect for a set like this. It's just nothing special to uh, go through and build it. And I will say it's actually quite small. Um, maybe not as small as I was expecting, but it's certainly smaller than you would hope. But this is essentially a midi scale set, right? That's kind of what this set fits in the realm of, of which there have only ever been two with the Millennium Falcon and Star Destroyer. But to give you an idea, that's what the Nebulon looks like next to that midi scale Star Destroyer from all the way back in 2010. Now, something I found a little bit interesting about this is that they really went with no color. Other than a little bit of dark tan that you'll see sprinkled throughout the build, you're not gonna find anything but gray on this set, both light and dark, obviously. But there's like a little bit of green that should be there on the front end of the Nebulon B Frigate from the images that I looked at, I feel like. So it is a little bit weird that they just went with all gray and maybe left out a little bit of accuracy that you could have had there and that may be a knock against the set. Another thing I don't particularly love this set for is its stand. And the reason this probably has never been made before in LEGO is because of the ergonomics of the vehicle. It's just not a very conducive vehicle to building in LEGO and having stand like at all. Like it just doesn't make a lot of sense. It's very front heavy, it's very skinny, the back has a little bit of weight, and you just have to figure out a way to support that. And the way they did support that in this case was with this all black stand. And the stand actually has a decent brick built design. Like it's strong, it's not gonna break on especially with something rather light like this and it does have that 40th anniversary sticker that we also saw on the best Man duel so not a bad stand i just don't think it's a very beautiful stand i don't think it matches like the vibe of the nebulon b frigate and if you disagree that's fine but that's just the way that i feel about the stand i feel like it's too blocky compared to the nebulon which really doesn't have any of these sharp edges that the stand does it really stands out and i don't think i like that usually the stands are supposed to kind of just fade into the background and maybe if you put it on a black shelf like i have in the background it does fade into the background but as it is now it just does not against this white table but the overall design of the actual nebulon is quite accurate otherwise 
size. Like they got all the little sections and shapes down as best they can, of course, with about 400 pieces, but it does work really well in this scale somehow. I'm actually quite surprised. And you know, it didn't win the UCS vote earlier in the year. That doesn't mean it won't ever become a UCS set, but you can see how this does present some issue if LEGO were to go in and try to make it UCS, how they would support a build like this. It would be quite interesting. Now, this set does have what I believe to be the smallest Millennium Falcon ever, and it looks like this. It is a little bit awkward looking, obviously, made with so few pieces. It just kind of clips on up underneath the uh, Nebulon there to hook up and be docked to it. But I mean, that is the smallest Millennium Falcon ever made, basically. So, I mean, it's it's a build that hardly resembles it, especially when you take it off the, the Nebulon. And it's a nice little thing to have there for a detail that maybe you, you may notice or not notice. I mean, you can definitely just take it off and leave it off if you just want to have the Nebulon without this little baby Falcon, but it's still neat enough. Another small thing I kind of have an issue with this set here is with some of these like antenna pieces, they just seem a little bit weak. And if I like run my hand over it, like it'll instantly kind of begin to fall off. And so from that perspective, it's not like the strongest build. Even these ones here, if you go and pick up the set like this, you're going to fold them in and sometimes they can pop out of there. It just depends on if you get them right or at least they'll end up at the wrong angle and then you got to put them back. Um, but, but that's not a huge issue because you can just pick the set up like this and it's not like it's a play set or anything so it's something you'll just put on the shelf and be fine with ideally but yeah it was just something that I kind of noticed as I was building and trying to put the set together and pick it up and move it to different orientations to put parts on that I was having a little trouble knocking things off. Here's a better look at some of the details on the front end of the Nebulon. A lot of uh, different uh, antenna pieces up at the top there and it's going to be a pretty symmetrical build although not perfectly symmetrical there are definitely things that are different on each side of the build and then around back they even have the engine detail so I actually appreciated that they were able to get some of that in there that's always nice because there are certainly sets where that is lacking and this set definitely delivered there so Nebulon B Frigate San Diego Comic Con exclusive this is one a lot of people are going to keep sealed so from a packaging perspective hell yeah why not just get it and keep it in the box because I don't think the build is as exclusive exciting as the box. This is one of those cases where it makes more sense maybe to just keep it sealed and hey, maybe one day you decide you want to sell it. It'll be worth more if you keep it sealed. And you know, it's just not that beautiful a build and not every build is going to be, but this one, especially to me, doesn't scream, oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. It just happens to be the only Nebulon B frigate. Maybe that's what draws you to it. That's fine. But I think uh, as a collector, I mean, I would rather just display the box than actually display the vehicle because they make it look way prettier on the box than I think it ends up being in real life. So North American San Diego Comic Con exclusive, 40 bucks, fair price, hard to get for sure. You'll probably end up paying way more than that if you are unable to get it through whatever the formal purchasing processes are, whether that be Amazon or directly through Lego. I'm not exactly sure uh, everywhere this may or may not be available, but it's a neat set. It's not one that I think is a must have unless you're just a huge fan of this ship. Maybe you're a Nebulon nerd from earlier in 2020 when uh, we had the UCS vote. You were really trying to get that made in UCS. Unfortunately, it fell short, but Hey, Lego kind of came in here and gave you something cool anyway. So let me know what you guys think about this set below. I think it's like a 6.5 out of 10. It's just not great. It's fine, but it's definitely not great in my opinion. So leave me a comment. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more Lego Star Wars reviews and other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.